Guys, I'm autistic. And so for a very long time, I've always wondered who out of all of the FNAF animatronics would win in a fight. In today's video, we're going to look at all of the FNAF characters game by game and see which character would win in a fight in their respective game. So make sure to hit that like subscribe as at 10,000 subscribers, I'll be throwing a crumpet at Jericho Games. But either way, guys, let's move on to FNAF 1. Butterflies. That's beautiful, Katie. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's 1 is the first game in the series, no shit, and the game has a cast of five different animatronics, including Foxy, Freddy, Chica, Bonnie, and Golden Freddy. However, I'm not going to be discussing Golden Freddy because he's more of a hallucination than anything, and he only has a one in a million chance of spawning in the first place. Now then, when we're discussing which animatronic would win in a fight, we have many factors to consider, including speed, strength, tools, and length. But now that all of that's out of the way, let's start looking at our beautiful contenders. So to begin things strong, let's look at the animatronic that Scott Cawthon himself thought was the scariest, which is Bonnie. Now, Bonnie does have some good fighting attributes. He's decently bulky and could probably land some solid punches. However, he is quite slow and is lacking in schlong. Despite this, though, he does have a guitar, which could be used to land some hard-hitting attacks, but that's only if his guitar is actually real and not a prop made from styrofoam. Overall, though, I would say that Bonnie has somewhat of a chance at contending in a FNAF 1 fight. Now then, we move on to what I think is the weakest and also dumbest animatronic in Finance Freddy's 1. And of course, I'm talking about our favourite bird Chica, who honestly could win this fight if the other animatronics were exposed to all of her fan art, so it would instantly fall into a deep state of depression. However though, with that not being an option though, she is the character with the least useful set of skills. She's definitely the clumsiest out of all of the animatronics, making a huge racket in the kitchen, falling over pans. She's a slower character, similar to Bonnie, and she definitely has the most autism. Now her tools could be useful, depending on how the fight plays out, as she does have her cupcake, and if it's anything like the FNAF movie cupcake, then it would definitely be the best animatronic in the whole series. But for this video's sake, I think Chica is probably the weakest animatronic. Next up on the list, we have the bear, the myth, the legend, Frudel Falls Bond Mass. Now, Frudel Falls Bond Mass is, in my opinion, the animatronic with the best attributes for this showdown. He's the bulkiest, he's gotta be as agile as Foxy with his sneaking skills, and he by far has the biggest schlong. However, his only real downside is that he doesn't have any tools, except his schlong. Now then, last but not least, we have Foxy, the fastest animatronic out of the four, who is going to touch you. Now, Foxy has a good chance at winning the fight with his speed and his weapon, but the main problem is that the little dinkly hook he has isn't going to do much damage to a huge fucking metal bear. And he's by far the most scrawny looking out of all of the animatronics and has the most damage to his endoskeleton. So with all of this in mind, I think the clear winner of the FNAF 1 brawl is easily Brutal Falls 1 Mass. FNAF 2 more than doubles the amount of contenders for this next fight, as there are actually 10 animatronics in FNAF 2. However, we can honestly instantly remove a huge majority of the animatronics from this fight. First off, we'll take a look at Balloon Boy, because he's a little bitch boy. Now, Balloon Boy is a literal child and has no chance in winning a fight with anything, so he's not even going to be considered in this fight. However, the toy animatronics do have somewhat of a chance in a fight. They are more advanced technology-wise and seem more agile. However, they are tiny in comparison to the Withers, and they are made from Tinu plastic. The Marionette would stand a chance, but then again, they're just too fragile and scrawny. Golden Freddy can't even stand up, and Mangle would honestly just fall apart if they were slightly touched. So uneventfully, FNAF 2 only really leaves us with the withered animatronics when it comes to who would win in a fight, which is a little boring, I must admit. But let's have a look at our contenders. Withered Barney has a lot of good attributes, like being fucking massive and having a huge schlong, but considering he's missing his whole face and an arm, he'll be completely battered in a fight. Withered Chica is way too autistic to win and has no arms, so Albozo. So once again, we have a battle between Freddy and Foxy. And yeah, we all know this is going to go for poor old Foxy. Now, when it comes to FNAF 3, you would think that Springtrap would be the clear winner, since all of the other animatronics are literally just ghosts. And you would be right. However, one thing to consider is that Springtrap literally lost in a fight to a bunch of ghost children. And to his own stupidity, the way he tried to escape them was by getting into a suit that he know would kill him. But I mean, we can't really consider the ghost kids, so in this fight, as it is a fight between the animatronics, I guess Springtrap does indeed win. However, we do have to remember that he's an absolute idiot. Was that the bite of 87? Final Fantasy Freddy's 4 is the last game on today's list, and thankfully it also has the biggest room for debate when it comes to who would win in a fight. So then, let's have a look at our contenders. We'll begin with Plush Trap. Now Plush Trap is a mini version of Spring Trap and his only advantage is biting ankles. However, all it takes is one well placed knee to his cranium and he will fucking explode. Nightmare Chica is once again the most autistic character out of the whole cast, as all she fucking does the entire time you play FNAF 4 is make sandwiches in the kitchen. She's a woman. 
so she has no schlong. However, she is quite bulky and strong looking, and her cupcake would be a lot more useful in this fight compared to the last three, as it is actually able to attack the player in FNAF 4. So she would have a decent shot of winning this fight. Nightmare Bonnie is quite spoopy, and he would have a good shot in this fight. However, I don't really think Bonnie has any unique characteristics, and he doesn't really have any tools that can be used to aid him in this fight. So I don't really think he would really do that amazing overall. Nightmare Freddy is definitely by far the strongest version of Freddy. He has a huge cock, and although he is going to be very similar to all of the other Nightmare animatronics in terms of strength and abilities, he now has the added benefit of loads of mini Freddies to bite the ankles of the other animatronics. However, Nightmare Freddy is not as strong looking as, as someone like Nightmare Chica with all of her teeth, and he's also a bit of a pussy, making the Freddles do most of his work. So overall, Nightmare Freddy is a little bitch. Nightmare Foxy is a really cool looking animatronic, design wise, and he definitely has some amazing fighting attributes. He's obviously fucking massive like the other Nightmare animatronics, but he has the added bonus of a huge hook that looks a lot more useful than the FNAF 1 Foxy's hook. And he also has a very long tongue. Yeah, I don't know what he's going to use that for. Now then, last but not least, we have Nightmare Fredbear. And yes, I know everyone's going to say, what about Nightmare? But he's literally just see-through Nightmare Fredbear. So shut the fuck up. Anyway, Nightmare Fredbear is an absolute unit. He's definitely the biggest animatronic. And yes, he is bigger than your mum. And he also has a stomach made of fucking teeth. And to be honest, I think he would completely destroy all of the other animatronics. However, to make the video a little bit more interesting, let's put Nightmare Chica and Nightmare Fredbear in the ring and we'll see who really wins because I do think Nightmare Chica still has a chance of winning this fight. So yeah guys, there we have it. That is my ranking of which animatronic would win in a fight in the first four FNAF games. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, a like and subscription would be greatly appreciated. We're trying to get 3,000 subscribers by the end of this current year. If you'd like to see a part two, please let me know in the comments below. But either way guys, I do really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you lovely people in the next video. Goodbye. Taking a piss, I've been standing here.